on 4am and we're leaving O'Reilly's. Big day ahead, but um, pretty stoked actually. It's just gone sunrise and we've done a pretty fast pace, honestly about 5, 5 plus k's an hour. It is all worth it. starting to get narrower. The vines are starting to get scratchier. The canopy is starting to get darker, but we're still smiling. So we're moving at such a pace through some pretty rough, unformed footpads that I don't actually know how much video I'll be able to share and shoot today. So we've really got to fly like the wind to make our ooh, 4 p.m. pick up and those cold beers in the esky. Yay! This is what they risk to eat and luckily it is edible. In fact, ooh. The whole reason why we're here today pushing our bodies through 37 kilometers of scrub is so we can walk in the footsteps of Bernard O'Reilly. And right now we're on a really significant part of Bernard's story, the summit of Throkban. And it was on this peak, and you know, rumor has it, it may have even been this tree, the fallen tree that I'm standing on that he climbed, because apparently he had to climb a really high tree to get a good view around. But it was from this point that he actually was able to look across the valley and see that burnt tree was that one clue across this immense amount of wilderness that led him to saving Proud and Beanstead after something like 11 days. It's an amazing, amazing story. This 37k walking in Bernard's steps from O'Reilly's, you know, it's not the walk for everyone, it is tough and you do need to have a really solid, good level of fitness to do it. And it's certainly gonna help if you've got some off-track bushwalking experience as well. Remember those today who passed away in the, in the crash? Rex Boyden, who was the, the pilot. Beverly Shepherd, the co-pilot. Uh, William Fountain and Roland Graham. They, are now a part of this beautiful part of the world forever. We also remember James Westray and we think about what a courageous man that he was to not only survive the plane crash but to then go, I oh know, I'll go and go and find help. We also remember John Proud and Joe Binstead and I don't think there's much more story of mateship than between those two men. We give thanks to Bernard amazing story. He believed that all of his life skills were leading to this one event. And he drew on every skill that he had gained throughout his life and used them all to find me to A numbness shot through my limbs, a sort of coldness that was worse than fear and worse than pain or shock. <laughs> Sorry, I get a bit emotional when I but it was a combination of all three. A feeling that has stayed with me through the crowded months in between and that is with me even as I write this. So even though the 37, oh, 36K walking in Bernard's steps might not be for everyone, the great news is there is another option. Oh. <laughs> There is a 14k, which is a 7k, almost straight up and a 7k straight back. And the track along that is a lot more doable. You still need a good level of fitness and an adventurous spirit and having an interest in the Stinson and the story of Bernard's amazing feat 
is also a great thing to have. So I reckon if you've ever got the chance to come up to O'Reilly's to do a Stinson walk, you just get not only a glimpse at an incredible story, but you get to see and spend time amongst the incredible Lamington National Park. Thank you.